dog. Oh my god, he's in a little bit of trouble. Has Burning Spears. Isn't going to be able to be brought down, though. And now Emperor trying to make something happen against Mr. Catch, but oh, actually catch the torn. Oh, oh, Fairy Fire's still alive. He does go down. Come with me on his Kunkka, making it happen. They do manage to pick him off in return, though, as the Astral Spirit went out that direction. Kefka now also going to get caught by that Fortune's End. Are they going to be able to find this? Oh, Emperor does a lot of damage. He is going to not have any damage out from the Caustic, though, by the Sand King. So they take two in response, but certainly not the way you want to start that. Yeah, you don't want to give up Wagamama there, and they probably could have gotten a kill there. Certainly have enough burst to really reliably do that. Oh, lordy. Of course, the Oracle has no escape, so... <laughs> Game is hard. That's a rough one. And again, you just you get into these little situations. You try and move over there to contest. It's worth going after. That's pretty much a guaranteed kill on the Oracle. It's a riskier kill to try and move on Wagamama. Now Kefka is probably going to get a kill, but also go down. Now uh, Waga just running away. Wow. Actually, Kefka well, surviving. Um, I don't want, or, uh, around the era of TI1, the team that was technically the most skilled. There's going to be oh. enough on the Oracle up top. Lordy, turning back around, nice little sandstorm there, no detection this time around, they pop the dust, gonna chase him down, oh lordy, this is a huge problem, they kill off the clinks, and that's what you're talking about right there, that's that teammates, the communication, working likewise on the side of level up, maybe a little bit of, oh my god, a catapult is stuck in the air there, that was kind of weird. Oh, Pwn's gonna go down bottom. Oh, alright, and then they end up being able to find the kill. Thank you for helping me catch that one at the very end. But yeah, Pro Dota, just on top of it. Oh my god, my attention is... it's gone! I'm, I'm, I'm lost! And they end up being able to find another up top. They're gonna chase down Waga, pop the dust, they do have vision now! Oh, there's gonna be the Burrow Strike. Follow through with the Torrent, easy peasy for Come With Me. Trading over the aggro away from Mr. Kefka, and he is still gonna get caught there as... They might be. It's just no follow-up, though. You absolutely. The second that that oracle goes down, Wagamama just has to back up yeah. because you know, you know that they're carrying dust, and the only way to get rid of that is available for uh, for level up across their entire team. And Pwn is going to move down here. Waga is behind enemy lines as well. They drop the Chronosphere. Just going to go for a quick kill with the Burrow Strike turnaround. Oh, Kefka's found him. There's the boat. There's the torrent. It's going down. They have been able to find at least one. Can they take the other? First Chronosphere of the game taken down in that fashion. X back. They do get the stomp to try and counter initiate, but Luna is just too large, and she takes the kill. Helm of the Dominator completed now the ward behind them so they are going to spot this oracle kefka moves in goes for the burrow strike finds the catch there's the torrent there's the boat again bringing down cole he does get the fates edict off but it's not going to be enough and now it just means that the oracle is going to die guess what emperor might as well if he's not getting out of here quickly <laughs> yeah all right so for the turnaround here that uses drums actually for this and oh. this is yeah, that's really unfortunate. Again, these like little movements around the map, you can understand what it is. Like you feel the need to try and push out these lanes solo. You to deal with, and none of them. I mean, the faceless void is holding onto a stout shield, but like they don't really have any good way to deal with the Tidebringer. And it, it, at this stage, with him this far ahead, it's an enormous new oh. across their entire team to open up every fight. And then mid. Now they're going to be able to find Cole, already lost the Oracle, and they throw out, oh, this could actually look a, a little bit better, Biver dropping low, Cole is going to fall though, uh, OD did get the kill first, they drop the Chronosphere, the follow-up is going to be there, trying to burn through the refraction charges from Big Vixit, and they are going to be able to throw out the boat, so Rum Buff keeping them alive, they managed to hit the stomp, but it's only just going to be to try and escape, and unfortunately, they got their eyes on the prize, Kefka finds him, that's Clink's dead, now they've got the X, there's the Torrent, a nice Fates Edict, but too much physical damage at this point and they just bring down that et as well lordy 17 to 3 it's been a bit of a rough one yeah pretty consistently uh one of the problems that we're seeing level up have is that when they do is going to be able to find another kill up top well all right maybe not stomp turns it back around and it looks like the clinks is going to get out this time oh the, no uh, caustic oh yeah. oh that hurts all right well those close He's going to end up jumping. They do catch him with the stomp. Now they're jumping forward. Chronosphere only catches the Sand King. It was so close to finding Come With Me. But again, that, that little movement right there, they realize the only place they could come from is... In oh, lordy. Jeez. Yeah, th this is what I was talking about earlier with level up, just not taking the advantage and, and backing off. They're not happy with what they get. They want to go out for more. 
and then they end up getting somebody picked off. Um, uh. That's a fight that they really could have saved for their tower. Lordy, Lordy, Cole starting to get taken down as well. There's the X. Might need to go for the self Astro, but it was on cooldown. They take him down. And they are going to be able to try and cut the creep wave, I guess, maybe. But what what's the play? Chronosphere? Yeah, it's, it's a pro Dota gaming decision. If, if they just go way too far forward and get themselves cut out, yeah, pro Dota gaming could lose this. Well, there's but. the boat trolling out. It keeps Garter alive. They do throw out the Mystic Flare, though, and a whole heck of a lot of damage as they've taken down the Void already. Chronosphere no longer with them. They're going to X back Emperor. Can't find the kill, but it does look like Pro Dota are going to call off the charge with their Luna dead. Maybe lose the TA. Oh, just barely going to be able to stay alive there. And I Come With Me is actually going to X himself. Going to come back into this. Oh, Epicenter. Turn around. Fail. Dropped. Oh, they're all going to die. That's going to be two dead. Emperor falls, and that's probably the mid barracks. GG is going to get called. Just one more example of level up not being happy with what they get, wanting to go a little bit farther out after the advantage. It's a reasonable impulse.